It's Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. Lawyers for Alex Tasker have filed an urgent application before the Caribbean Court of Justice in an effort to stop his extradition to the United States. In light of this move, he has been released from police custody where he was held after the CCJ cleared the way for his extradition to face money laundering charges. The horse racing fraternity in Barbados is mourning the death of former jockey turned trainer Ricky Griffith. He's died at the age of 58 in Canada from what's commonly called Du Garrick's disease. China's Civil Aviation Authority says it's getting too many complaints about flight delays and cancellations from passengers of Inter Caribbean Airways and it's demanding from the airline an improvement in the situation. A Nigerian medical student in St. Vincent is drowned after slipping from a rocky surface on which he was walking and falling into the sea. St. Vincent's Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez says his country is to get some more money from the Saudi fund. So we discussed a, a package of capital projects for soft loan funding on the same terms broadly as to what we have had on the 16 million US dollar package which was signed and which went to parliament already and was approved. Jamaica reports a decline in murders in the first seven months of this year. Almost 800 Jamaicans were murdered over the first seven months this year, an almost 12% decline when compared to the corresponding period in 2022. That's according to the latest crime figures reported on Wednesday by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. St. Lucia's opposition United Workers' Party is denying responsibility for the travel advisory which France has issued to its nationals planning to visit St. Lucia because of the crime situation there. Al Jazeera reports that hundreds of people backing last week's removal of Niger's president by his presidential guard gathered for a mass rally in the capital Niamey on the country's Independence Day. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is to be formally charged at a court hearing today for plotting to overturn his 2020 election defeat. On the eve of the arraignment, he slammed the case as proof of what he called the corruption, scandal and failure of the U.S. under Joe Biden's presidency. Mr. Trump already faces two other criminal cases as he campaigns for the White House next year. Today's weather forecast. A tropical wave will begin to affect the island. As a result, it will be sunny with cloudy periods and a few brief scattered light showers. In western districts, it will be sunny with cloudy periods with a few brief scattered light to moderate showers during the afternoon. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.